Okay, so another thing to think about when when you're interacting with the victim system is seeing what you can uh, continue to learn about how that victim's using the system, what, what their credentials might be, uh, what logins they use for other systems, for other websites. Uh, right now, I am connected through a interpreter shell to the victim system on an, a, a secondary account called victim. I'm not using the administrator account now. So if I go back to my, I've got uh, two sessions here. I've got one with uh, the administrator account, one with victim. And it's good to practice your techniques with less privileged accounts so that you can uh, continue to learn ways to escalate your privileges. In any case, we're going to go back to our session number five, which is the victim, which is a regular user. And if I run the help command, we'll see that I've got some key scan or key logging commands here. I start the keys, the key logging. While I'm logging keys, I can dump the buffer. And then when I'm done, I can stop the, uh, the buffer. So first we'll do a key scan start. Okay, I was already running a key scan, so sorry about that. Now I'll start it again. All right, it says that it's running and on the victim system, we can just assume that they would be uh, going about their, their work day. This is secret info. Back on my attack system, I can run key scan dump and we'll see that uh, I started typing the name wrong, I hit a couple of backspaces. So secret info is the name of the, the file I created on the desktop. I hit return. I hit return again to open notepad. And then I typed in some information. Very simple, very easy to use. And this is something you would maybe think about uh, doing when you know that the uh, the target is on their system actively uh, doing some work. Maybe you determine that through packet sniffing or through uh, some other monitoring. Uh, one thing I also uh, mentioned a couple times before is the uh, the migrate function. If I'm a regular user, I can still try to migrate my session to a... Um, let me look at my... Okay, I already did this. I already migrated to Explorer. But the idea is that you want to run PS, uh, look for Explorer or some other process, and think about migrating to that process ID. Otherwise, the process that, that launched my re reverse TCP shell, in this case was a Secret Photos 32, that might look suspicious if someone sees that in the process list. So it's a good idea to always migrate to another process. Uh, if it's a system level process, you'll have to have privileges to do that, but we can see that this helps you cover your tracks, helps you remain a little bit better hidden. All right, that's it for key logging. We'll see you in the next section. Thank you.